Well, it's day seven, and you know what time it is. It's one. It's one twenty-seven in the morning, <laughs> and uh, yeah, the video is rendering from yesterday. Woo! Again, very much appreciate everybody joining us. Welcome to Vita Day Seven, as Vita Day Six is rendering as usual. Again, like I've said before, you're seeing a pattern. You're seeing how it all works. You're seeing the behind the scenes of the. Th things and the stuff and probably some more things um easy editing times easy rendering times easy living times though it's not easy for everybody out there Kara's doing stuff and things as well things over there stuff. oh things sorry and stuff and stuff and things. all of that yeah Bean is being a bean. Being a pinto. Oh, she heard me. He's being a pinto. A pinto bean. Poor puppy in our period. Hmm. Aww. Yeah, but she doesn't have her diaper on right now because she's having time to chill. But we're yeah. going to have to put it back on her before she snuggles with us on the couch and before bedtime. Yeah. Yeah. We'll probably watch some Star Trek or... Something before bed, as you all probably chill with uh, a couple of our friends here on Twitch. As you saw yesterday, we ended the night uh, raiding one of our friends, Tactical Cakes, who is, well, what the hell happened to my motherfucking browser? What's going on there? Oh, no. What happened? Well, he says one sec. Oh, right. <laughs> oh okay. Must have had a stream I issue. Must have had a stream issue, today. yeah. Um, Lender or Lander, excuse me, Lander X Squeak, uh, gifted me a sub to our buddy too, which was really nice of him. Of them, sorry, I don't know who Land I don't know Lander's gender, so it's not right to assume. But, um, yeah, playing Division, looks like they might have gotten another raid from our friend Mickey, but uh, it's having some some issues there. But yeah, uh, gonna wrap up everything tonight, and then we'll see you throughout the rest of the day. Oh, huh? Are we wrapping things up? Uh, or are you gonna play games with Fozzie and do other things? Oh, I'm not sure. I thought we might. Uh-oh. What? The look on your face makes me believe that <laughs> you face. don't want me to play games no, with it's Fozzie. No, just my face. I'm just wondering. What do you want to do? I don't know. Wanna watch Star Trek and Snuggle? Maybe. Grab your bum. I want juice, but you didn't get any juice. That's okay. I didn't know we needed juice. That's okay. We're almost out of almond milk, too. But that's oh, okay. We have clean water to drink. We do. Filtered so. from our refrigerator. Yeah. I can grab your bum. No, stop talking about that. Why? I like grabbing your bum. Hey, it's the internet. <laughs> what? Stop it. Like the internet doesn't know already that I love you and I love grabbing your bum? Stop it. <laughs> See, even Tactical no. finds it funny. He's like, oh my God, guys. No. I don't know if you know this, stop. but small little. <laughs> <Ew. laughs> Licked my hand. Stop it. <laughs> got her. Looks like we got a little rain last night. And now, this big little puppy on her morning walk is her huge. Listening to the birds. Alright. Alright. It's morning. Kick this thing on. Mm -hmm. Time to check on some of our friendos and let everybody know that the vlog from yesterday is up. Ready? Oh. There it is. My rainbow. Mm. But we're gonna. Up on here and yeah, do the thing all the way 
Wait for the coffee. Become human, coffee in a cup, tell me become human, caffeine is never enough, never enough, caffeine, coffee in my face, do 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 it's two percent humanity right into my face mm. so I've mainly just been uh, chilling since I got up drinking coffee and everything um <clears throat> Also posting, you know, letting everybody know about yesterday's video being up, um, some of our other like gaming videos and stuff that are up on the YouTube, posting um, um, a gaming video on our Patreon, and, um, you know, talking with people in their chats, <clears throat> and um, also doing some, um, like talking with some of our clanmates uh, for Destiny, because I'm trying to get some of these new people up to... Um, a good level so we can do some of the high level activities because I fucking love Destiny and I just want to like I just want to get everybody to a good place to do some of the really fun like high level stuff because it's a grind but once you get there oh man there's so much fun shit like to do in that game it's uh, it's really really cool so um, just gonna still be here drinking coffee and then probably since this is the weekly reset for Destiny I'll probably just be grinding out either with some clan mates or just doing my own like personal grind trying to get some things done so I'll be doing that it's a gloomy rainy fucking day out today so um not really much to be done outside I thought about mowing the grass but it's it's all fucking wet not happy about that fucking bed because <laughs> uh after the other day you know i'm really itching to like do more outside um i've also been catching up with some friends and family you know checking in on them making sure they're okay during this time you know just trying to also see you know i think it's good like to be hopeful for when everything's over because like you know this is like, taking a toll on everybody but just trying to like set expectations for when the weather's nice and things are happening like things I want to do here around the house but also people that I want to spend time with and activities and things that I want to do and just kind of setting it up so that like you know everybody knows that like the people that are most important and that are closest to me like they know that once this is all over like I don't know it's changed my perspective on things because like I'm generally a pretty isolated person but all this fucking isolation is just it's not, it's not, it's not been good for me. And I, you know, I self-isolate a lot just because of my mental health. And I just want to like take the time to like start making those changes so that, um, you know, my relationships with people and that some of the stuff can be, I can make progress and move forward after all this. So, um, and then the hope is always is that later we can get some yoga in. I want to get some yoga done, but having a hard time being motivated towards that. So I want to, I want to knock that out, so that might be a thing. It's gonna be a thing. Let's make it a thing. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Bet. <laughs> Round two. Getting some more coffee. Do do do. Getting a refill. And that's it. Only two of these travel mugs for a whole French press. It doesn't even fill it up all the way. Pretty good deal. Pretty good deal on that. Oh. And then what I'm doing today, right now at least, is uh, chatting with some friends and family, catching up, doing some high level destiny activities, and uh, chilling with our good friend and fellow Ocos Gaming team member, uh, McKieran. She's playing a house flipper. This shit is fucking hilarious, honestly. 
it's, it's such a cool like you just basically you remodel houses and then sell them like it's fucking it's fucking dope yeah <laughs> so yeah i'm gonna finish off this last uh legendary lost sector i have to do three of them um for the activity this week and then uh, i'm gonna move on to some other shit yeah Find his dad. This squirrel is going to fucking town in our yard right now. Oh, cutie. Look at that. Oh, Girlfriend. found something. Found something. What you got? What you got? What do you find? You eating doo doos like the puppy? No. Oh, oh, oh. What you, what you doing? Don't dig too far over there. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him go. <laughs> All right, damn it. Fucking doing it. All this shit. I'm gonna get naked. I'm just gonna fucking what? go to. <laughs> I don't want to get water all over my clothes. What? That's why I wear an apron here. What? Nah, dude. I'm just gonna get naked. No. I'm just gonna do this. Don't act like you've never worn my aprons when we bake. In no, I don't like wearing your aprons, but you know what? I'm gonna do this with my dog out. You're not. <laughs> No, you're not. Yep. No. It's going to happen. I'm doing it right now. You're not. Put this on. You're right. Nobody wants to see that. Put this on. Or I'll get you your ghost one. Yeah, give me the ghost one. Going ghost. Yeah. I'm still not wearing pants, though. No, yes, you are. Nope. Where'd you put your ghost one? Pants are coming off. Stop it. I'm doing it. Actually doing it. <laughs> Stop. Pants are off. No, I'm putting it back on. <laughs> Why? <laughs> told you nobody wants to see that. I told you. Oh I told you. Proven. Point proven. Point I proven. I don't want you to do that while you're recording for the internet. Yeah. Nah. It's a good thing we don't have randomly placed mirrors on walls, and you're gonna forget where they are, and everybody's gonna see your butt. It's yeah. No, nobody wants to see that. Yeah. Nobody wants to see this thick boy bullshit. Such a dope apron. Put your apron on. Oh shit, no pants dance. What? Got it. You're cute. No, you got your pants back not. on. Yes, you are. No liar. <laughs> You're fucking lying. No, I'm not. Yeah. You're cute. What? You didn't even tie this tight enough. I know, because I'm too fat. No, you're stop acting it. like you... No. Oh, stop. What stop. do you mean, stop? <laughs> Vlogging. <laughs> you're going to make them all sick. I know. Look it. There. Yep, there it is. Go ahead and get sick. No, stop so it. I'm showing gross. the bow. What, I'm bow-legged now? Okay, go do dishes. Hello. So while Nate is doing dishes, I'm going to clear off everything that was on our winter solstice altar because it's still set up for winter. And then we're going to make it for springtime. from a Christmas show that I stage managed once. They are fruitcakes made of two by fours and cotton and fabric and little decorations.
light, bl a light blue t-shirt for the tree skirt of our Charlie Brown Christmas tree to approximate Linus's blanket because the one that came with the tree went missing. So. Puppy no diapy time. It smells so nice out today because it's been raining. It smells like springtime. What are you doing? Come in. I know you gotta do your perimeter check. You gotta smell everything along the perimeter. Mmm. Smells good, huh? Run, 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 run. What are you doing? Frankie, this is a very haphazard backyard tour. Can't remember if I already showed you guys this, but our flowers are still only just in green shoots mode. And that's wild strawberry all throughout there next to it. Um, nothing's really coming back yet. It's too cold up here. We live too close to the lake. So while other people's flowers have started blooming, ours are really just starting. There's some buds here. This is an ornamental cherry. These were all here when we moved in. We didn't plant any of this stuff. There's Dawn. I don't know what kind of bushes these are. The big old hydrangea like tree. It has not started coming back yet. These will be like um, grape hyacinth type thing, I believe is what showed up there last year, and daylilies, but the daylilies kind of got raked over when we were cleaning the yard the other day. But yeah, as you can see, just green shoots, no buds yet, no blooms, and our lilac tree is starting to get buds. So yeah, that's kind of the first thing, and then everything back there is like an evergreen. Hi, oh, honey, what are you doing? What are you doing? Even the neighbor's daffodils in the side yard are only just starting to come up. You can see the yellow over there. And this is also technically our neighbor's. It's in the side yard here. This is a hibiscus. So I like to collect some of the blooms as they fall because they only last a couple of days. So they'll bloom all over and then some of them will drop and then new ones will bloom and I collect the ones off the ground to dry. Um, you can drink them in tea and all kinds of stuff. So yeah. Alright, so after taking a break from doing a fuck ton of dishes, my friends and I were talking about Call of Duty. And the battle pass ends, as you can see, in 7 hours and 34 minutes. All right, so that's like 2 a.m. That's yeah, it's 2 a.m. That's 2 a.m. Oh, yeah, um, I didn't think about it that way. Yeah, yeah, here I am in the battle pass. I'm not trying to get to the end from here. I'm at 73. What I'm trying to get to is this really cool looking gun. I'm trying to get to this. My friends are telling me it's doable. Kara's given me enough excuses <laughs> that. I could actually do it. I could actually give this a shot. So I think, I think that might be a thing. Puppy, should I do it? Are you ready to not have dad for the next seven and a half hours? Should I do it? Puppy, should I do it? I gotta know. Give me your paw if you agree. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it, you did it. Give me your paw if you agree. Give me, give me your paw if you agree. She already did, but I wanted to see. I didn't get a good shot of it, so I just want, damn it. Son of a bitch. All I mean, right. I mean, you don't have to. Do you want me to forbid you from doing it? Are you trying to not do it? No, I just, like, I just. I think you can do it if you want to. 
But if you don't want to, then don't do it. But I do want to. Because you're relegating me to making dinner again. How dare you? Yeah, how dare you make dinner two days in a row? I've never done that. You're the cook. <laughs> but then I was also going to finish all those dishes. I know, but you're not doing that today anyway. Why? Because we ran out of hot water. And we ran out of places to put clean stuff. You gotta wait for it all to dry. If anything, you can do it again in like five hours. Why are you the fucking best? Why are you like this? Goodbye. What did I do? Goodbye. What did I do in my life to deserve you? What did I do? Tell me! She's right there. You can hear her fucking bottle of water. <laughs> And puppy gives you away. <laughs> we live in a house that's under a spectrum of love. And this is what I've done. This is what I've earned, apparently, somehow. Through that doorway is the most amazing human being anyone could ever have as a fucking partner. And they're my partner. So, haha, -ha, I win. Still recording, you know. I haven't stopped. I'm going to sit here and record until you show your face again. What are you doing? What? What are you doing? There you are. <laughs> okay, now getting ready to put on the spring stuff. Nate already recorded the stuff from the front of the altar. I don't usually share these things on the internet. I usually do them exclusively for my patrons, but this is something that we do together and it's April because because we didn't do this in March. Should have been done in March. Um, but I just wanted to show you I added my little bunny over here. So he's there. And then I found a couple other things or remembered a couple other things that I usually like to put for spring like my little equinox garden stone here which i got at the dollar store a few years ago because the equinoxes um so the vernal equinox first day of spring and the autumnal equinox first day of fall quote unquote those are the times that day and night are of equal length so that's what this represents to me and then i got this very springy looking plate and these rainbow cloth uh like placemats or napkins at the thrift store last year after spring and summer had already passed so I actually forgot those are new this year 
And then I have a bunch of these old Mary Mushrooms kitchen stuff. So this is actually a napkin holder, but I think I will put this up. Um, and instead of cluttering up this space even more, and we just have our one of my grandma's little doilies hanging on the front of the thing there, because our we don't currently use the fireplace. We have to wait until we get it cleaned to make sure that it's safe to use. So instead, I think I will clear off this other kind of like side working altar that I have. So that one's more just a, like a seasonal observance altar, but I did put the elephant incense burner in the center so that we can burn incense on the altar. And this one over here is more for like ongoing workings. So this was actually a collective ritual that we did when the news about the Amazon rainforest fires first came out. And this is a sigil that uh, an author and artist and dancer and priestess who I love, who I follow, Laura Tempest Zakroff, created this sigil for Brazil, for the reclaiming community in Brazil. Reclaiming is a tradition that I am a part of. And this is the symbol for earth. I made it out of green popsicle sticks <laughs> from the dollar store. Um, and then this one is the symbol for water. So I made it in blue. But I originally set this up with a bowl of water here when we were doing that working for Brazil. And then when there were also wildfires all over Australia, I added a map to focus on Australia, but it doesn't have the sigil because this sigil, this magical symbol here, is specifically for the community in Brazil. So it wouldn't make sense to put it here. And I didn't create a new one for it. So I just put the water symbol over top of it there. As you can see, the water has evaporated because I haven't been adding any water to it for a while, so I think it's time to clear this off and I'll put some springy things on it. We're doing an experiment for dinner. We're making vegan meatballs in the air fryer, but I didn't know what to put with them. And I decided to use one of our cans of tomato paste because we have a bunch of tomato paste and black beans, because we also have a bunch of black beans. So I'm doing a cross uh, red and black sauce instead of a red sauce, which we normally do with tomato paste and garbanzo bean. And then I usually do my black bean sauce with just black beans and seasonings. Sometimes I mix black and garbanzo beans. But I'm doing a little ding. Check on these. Doing a little experiment. Cool. Also, the color of our burner looks purple in the camera. It's just red in real life. Like, in real life, or at least to my eyes, it looks the same color as that kettle. But on the camera, it's purple. Strange. Anyway, yeah. About to put the black beans in. I've moved the sauce over to this burner now because I was silly and forgot to start my water for rice because it was Nate's idea to do rice with the meatballs and that's what gave me the idea to do this and I was so excited about this <laughs> that I just started the sauce. Hello. So the, uh, I have hiccups as well. I've had hiccups for hours. Hello. So I, the meatballs are already done. Basically they're staying warm in here though. I mean, they don't take much, just 10 minutes in the air fryer. I might put them in for another five or something. Um, but yeah, and then rice, super easy. Just gotta wait for the water to boil. And then this, I'm gonna mash up, mash it up a little bit with the beans and then season it. And I'm gonna do like a bowl of rice with the meatballs and then sauce just slathered all over the top of it. So it's interesting. We like to experiment. Oh my goodness gracious. Hiccups. We like to experiment with our food sometimes and try new things. And if now is not the time for it, then I don't know what is. Because we're just dealing with what we've got. All right, I'm gonna go because I still have freaking hiccups. Ugh. Rice is now almost done. I've seasoned up the sauce, and I'm realizing that it's giving me, like, Sloppy Joe vibes. I definitely made 
a sloppy joe, vegan sloppy joe, like, chili type sauce a couple of years ago with, like, red kidney beans and tomato paste. So this isn't actually that different. It's not that far out of bounds of things that I've done before, but I guess I've just never thought about doing tomato paste and black beans, because <laughs> we usually keep them separate. So... Yeah, it's actually pretty similar to other things, so I think it works just fine, and I've been seasoning it a little bit. There's a little bit of Italian seasoning, also just some salt. There's a tiny bit of our adobo, which also has garlic and pepper in it, and then I also added a little bit of our Old Dirty Sheets powdered hot sauce blend, powdered to the people. Um, I think that's the only one we have at the moment. It's the only one I saw in there, but so I added... Just a little bit of that so it gets a little bit of that flavor and a little bit of kick to it, but not too hot because I don't like things too spicy. So I think the sauce is just about done. Now I'm just waiting for the rice to be done and I'm going to assemble it. Alright, so we are layering stuff up. I got a layer of rice on the bottom and then a layer of sauce and then we're doing meatballs. And don't worry, my hands are clean. And then we're going to layer more rice and more sauce and so I was getting ready to show you guys the final plating of dinner and I got a phone call from a friend who is going through a crisis right now. Before I started dinner, I was on the phone for two hours catching up with a friend of ours who I have we haven't talked to in like a year since the last time we went to see them. So I was on the phone for like two hours and then started dinner and then as I was finishing dinner, this other friend called and needed to talk so I kind of like handed Nate a bowl of food and then went to take the phone call and then later when I came back down to check and see how Nate was doing on stream and everything he hadn't even started eating because he thought that I intended for him to wait for me to start eating and I was like no I'm sorry I handed it to you before I like got on the phone so that you could start eating because I knew I was going to be on the phone for a while so anyway now we're both eating and I'm off the phone and Nate is trucking along, streaming. Let's go see how that's doing. How goes it? What? How goes it? How goes it? Yeah. Uh, we're getting there. We're not going to hit our goal. <gasps> what? But So I'm going to have to use my points to buy the two tiers that I need. Uh, at the end of it, but we're gonna get Oh, close. but you're gonna be able to get the thing? Yeah, I mean, but I'm not gonna be able to earn it like I wanted oh. to, so. Why not? It's just not going it's fast not enough? not enough time, and, like, you, you pretty much have to, like, hit, like, a certain, you know, like, certain placement each game to, like, get enough experience. Yeah. So it's just rough games, that's all. Hmm. Alright. Puppy. 